Hello all, welcome to BASPSolution.com. My name is Amit and today I'm going to show you an interesting scenario as to how do you initialize your plan scenario using MD shift. There are multiple ways to do the same job, but today I will be showing you how you can shift across dimension using MD fix function, MD shift function. So let's get started. Let me first explain you the requirement and then I'll write a custom code for the same. So here's my requirement. Uh, we have a current year, next year and next two years plan. So I have a expense type called salary expenses and these are the approved budget salary expenses for the month of January to December. Okay. Now let me focus only on two first two year now. So this is current year plus one approved budget expenses. Now what my business want, he, my business want to take the last month uh, budget value and initialize this budget value in my plan. It means FI22 plan is equal to, it will take the value from the previous year, which is FI21 last month plan value. I simply want to copy this number from here FI21 to FI22 using MD6 fix function. So let me invoke this business rule and then I show you how to do this, how to write this custom rule. Okay, so this is the custom uh, code which I'm going to use in a planning financial module. So I'm going to uncheck other cubes and just limiting myself to financial cube. And the example I've given called MD shift example. Click on this and I execute it. So now you see when I refresh this FI21 approved budget plan. This number copies to my January month FI22 plan for the same account called salary. This does not only work for FI21, 22, it works even for 22 and 23 as well. Okay. So across multiple years. So you can rerun this example, just change the numbers. I'll change the numbers and rerun this example. So you see the same number gets copied from FI21 to 23 and 21 to 22. Budget numbers copies to plan from previous year last one to current year, current year plus one January month. Okay, now you know this is what we need to achieve. Let's see how to do this. So I would be using a MD shift function. Let's see the MD shift function argument. So this function takes a couple of argument. First argument is member name, which could be an individual member or the intersection or the dimension member combination or any function which returns a single member. In our example, we would be using an account called salaries account, right? So and shift. So shift is taking place 11 month before. So 11 month before means January data gets copy from previous year last month. So this is actually 11 month before. So shift will take place 11 month before shift integer that return integer that defines the number of member position to shift. It could be positive or negative. In our example, I want to go back previous year 11 month before and the member one to the member X define the member name in which the shift to occur. So in our example, it is across multiple years and range. You can define any valid member name, comma delimiter member list or any set function or range function you can apply. And if you do not specify this by default, as this uses labels to member. So we apply this function into our context. Okay. So let me create a new rule. I'm going to create new rule. And uh, I think I already open uh, the rule editor. I'm going to create new rule over here. Right click and create new rule. Name this rule as initialize plan. Initialize plan. Okay, so I want 
to move from designer view to script view i feel more comfortable writing script you could use a designer view although so i want this calculation to be taken place only for budget so i'm going to limit it for the scenario budget and fix and the whole expression will run only for the children of expense account so i have over here account dimension member and there are various types of account and i want to limit my calculation only for expense planning so i will put ofs expense planning and this calculation will be done only for salaries account so you see salaries account is basically a children of expense planning under predefined expense account compensation account and salaries ofs salaries i'll be using OFS salaries and uh, then i apply a function this calculation will be taking place only for the descendant of i use is descendant function for uh, predefined compensation account or expense planning so i'll be using ofs underscore expense and planning make sure this name is correct ofs expense planning correct and if and i close this parenthesis now here i'm going to write a md shift function let's see the target first so i want to copy the budget number to the plan numbers budget number to the plan number so my target is plan intersection of plan and salaries so i'll be using an intersection operator ofs salaries intersection with plan i'll be using md shift function so as you see this md shift function takes couple of argument the first argument of md shift function is member name right so what member you are going to copy i would be copying ofs salaries so let's say ofs salaries and the second argument is your range shift change so i'm going to shift 11 month before so write 11 and month is basically a period dimension in our case month is a period dimension over here you can check uh yes period damage i want 11 month before right so if i take uh january month it's it will take the value from december 11 month before of december is january month okay. from previous year so i'll take an argument over here uh previous year minus one and years the dimension name is years so in nutshell system will take previous year last month value to my january month last month is december month so this got written now let's save and validate this validation pass with no error and you can deploy the code over here so initialize plan the name of my rule right now you can associate this rule with data form and run it on on the fly upon save or you can explicitly run it in this example i'm going to explicitly run it i'll just change the numbers so that we see how it works and i highlight it with yellow color so that you can easily recognize the member to be copied okay so december month of previous year 11 month before as you see in the argument this is going to be 11 month prior of previous year so we shift one year negative right it means previous year 11 month before this value should copy to your december month to january month from budget to plan for fi 21 and 22 both now let's run the rule and test it so you can invoke rule from here itself business rule the name of a business rule initialize plan 
we have got multiple rules so i'm going to limit it only for financial queue it will help me to search my rule initialize plan uh, okay initialize plan this is your rule launch it launch successfully and refresh and check so you see the december month of previous year plan budget salary gets copied to plan same for fi 21 and 22 so this is finally your output and this is your code so look at the code once again we want to limit this code to be executed only for budget therefore apply fixed expression of budget and this calculation will take place for OFS salary and the alias name is salaries right we apply this calculation only to the descendant of expense planning and OFS salary is a children of expense planning here is the hierarchy of account dimension OFS expense planning under your financial planning OFS expense planning and your Compensation planning member of OFS expense planning OFS salaries. So I apply limit for OFS salaries, and we want this OFS salary budget data to be copied to plan. So in my left hand side operator, I explicitly use a plan scenario member OFS copy OFS salaries copies to OFS salaries from budget to plan because we want to go 11 months before. So therefore, I use 11 month across MD function work across dimension so period 11 month prior so january 11 prior is december or previous year had i not used a minus one it would have taken a same year i want previous year so i use minus one year so fi 22 previous years fi 21 so 21 december month data gets copied to 22 january month plan data so that's it for today example in next md function I'll show you how you can use uh, opening and ending inventory. Uh, how do you calculate opening inventory from ending inventory for January month, which will take from previous month value, previous year, last month, and February month onwards. So in my next example, I will be showing you. That's it for today. Should you have any question, please feel free to write to bsbsolutions.com. Thank you.